All right. Uh, thank you so much for everyone being here. Um, so my name is Tom, and today we're going to pretty much be talking about mobile first. Um, and this workshop um, and just general overview is around why we should be build building on mobile and pretty much a quick example app of how to build a Web3 mobile dApp with Wallet Connect. Cool. Uh, so just as an introduction for myself, uh, my name is Tom. I, I lead DevRel um, Relations at Wallet Connect um, and spent several years as a mobile engineer prior to this, um, hence my interest in doing a lot more mobile um, development at Wallet Connect. Cool. Um, so for those who aren't as familiar with Wallet Connect, um, the simple way to put it is we're a protocol that enables two parties to connect. Um, and the two parties we essentially have is dApps and wallets in this space. Um, and we're encrypted, trustless, open source, and chain agnostic. Um, so we started several years ago, one single QR code. Um, and now we would say, you know, several hundred wallets power us and many dApps uh, use us under the hood. So we really try and facilitate um, connections between the two parties, i.e. wallets and dApps. So um, that's maybe how you might be knowing us. And I might want to just quickly touch on what we've been working on recently and how this kind of relates to our hypothesis and reasoning for mobile. Cool. Uh, so just as an introduction, so to further extend, maybe give you insight that, um, you know, Wallet Connect is more than just a QR code signing protocol. And also a, a common question we get is, is Wallet Connect a wallet? Um, the answer is no. We're not a wallet. Uh, we're a wallet infrastructure and a DAP infrastructure, kind of like as a communication protocol infrastructure. Um, and these are the things that we've been busy on recently. Um, so Web3 Wallet is something that a lot of wallets, I guess, use under the hood. Um, and most of the 300, 400 wallets that are out in the space that we power, um, they're the ones that are using that one. So this has a lot to do with chain switching and things like that that you might have seen recently. Um, and then Web3 Wallet Modal is kind of the part that we want to talk about today, particularly around dApps. So every time you might have seen a Connect Wallet button and a QR code, that's kind of the core product that we started with. So a lot's been happening in that space. And I think more recently, you guys have might have seen communication sign to happen within Web3. Um, so I did a talk on uh, mobile, uh, mobile wallets the other day. And it's kind of interesting in that we started in 2017, 2018, particularly with, say, a, a wallet called Toshi Wallet, also known as Coinbase Wallet. Um, and they were actually doing messaging four years ago. Um, they actually kind of stopped that. And now it seems like it's kind of opening the floodgates of that. So we're also in the works around Web3 Inbox. So Web3 Inbox is around push notifications, notifications, and chat. So this is something that these are the product suites that we've been working across and particularly wanted to focus on Web3 Modal today. Cool. Uh, so Web3 Modal, this is some, I guess, some alpha of what's coming up. It looks very different to what we have right now. Um, this is the direction we're heading in. Um, so you might be very familiar with connecting with MetaMask, connecting with Mo Coinbase, and any of your other respective favorite wallets. Um, so this is what Mo Web3 Modal focuses on. Um, and pretty much every wallet you have out there, whether it's a cloud-based, uh, smart contract based, uh, web based, uh, mobile based, they're all available through Web3 Modal these days. And we're going to be extending it further uh, with other features, new UI. Um, and today I want to particularly talk around um, how we're going to work on the, just do a demo on the light version of why, how quick it is to spin up mobile development these days. Cool. Uh, and just since we're all here for a hackathon and to win prizes, I think that's all we're here for. Um, of course, but to learn. So thank you for being here. Um, so we have around 20 grand of uh, cash prizes to give out this week, a uh, weekend. Um, first one, particularly around mobile. That's kind of what I'm speaking around. Um, and we've got some documentation all across all of this. Um, but we got six grand for Web3 Mobile. Um, if you use React Native, uh, Flutter, Swift, or Kotlin um, to spin up a dApp, uh, going to provide some prizes around that. Innovation. Um, this is our first time doing this track. Um, and six grand around that. So if you're interested in to work on ZK proofs, or ZK snarks, and then use Wallet Connect as a connection through that, um, there are many great ZK um, EVM kind of blockchain systems out there. So feel free to use that. And another topic that you guys might have seen is 6551. Uh, so this is around token bound accounts, and it really relates to, to the wallet space. Uh, if we talk about wallets right now, everyone talks about AA account abstraction, which is great. It's another form of onboarding. Um, and personally, another one that I'm interested in, 6551 token bound accounts. 
Um, so the TLDR of it is if you generate from Tom.eth, you can, and then you you purchase, say, a a, a CryptoPunk or whatever, um, then you can. That is kind of as a generated as a token bound NFT wallet account that you can start to identify yourself as. Okay, this this punk now gets you know, uh, know if you think maybe more around loot, I think that's a bit more plausible. It's kind of like a composable way to build your inventory um, and identity. So really excited about that authentication so this is something um like really interesting partners like instagram and stuff have used to kind of verify okay i am 0x123 connect sign and authenticate so it's a really simple api and really encourage you to do that and the last one is for those who aren't developers actually here um and we're doing a design track of our cloud app looks a bit bland um can do a lot more improvement um so feel free to drop a figma and trying to recreate like how would you do user design flows and so that's mobile innovation auth and cloud and then we have a pool prize of anyone who wants to just work on web3 modal web-based stuff um you'll be in a pool prize for two 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 hundred bucks or so so that's that um and yeah so i kind of wanted to to go around a thesis around mobile um and it actually might work to talk about the wallet dap paradigm first so uh wallet connect has an extreme pleasure uh to talk to every single wallet out there to talk about, to talk to every other DAP out there. Um, so yeah, every day we get to talk to them. We have to understand what they're facing. Um, and I don't know how much you guys have talked to wallets in this HCC week, but a lot of them have just been like, wallets are the problems. Wallets are the problem towards the gateway and stuff like that. And they're like, there are three camps actually around the future of mobile. There's pe strong pessimism of like, oh, wallets aren't doing enough and innovating. Fine. If you want to take that camp, we can stay there. There's the other one of there's going to be a super wallet. Uh, this kind of around this thing called the fat wa fat wallet thesis by A16Z a while ago. And it's kind of like, hey, there's going to be a few wallets that are just going to do really well and then unlock innovation for us. And then the third camp is there might be really niche wallets out there that are really just specifying on chat, NFT, and all of these things. So there, there probably are many other hypotheses of how personally that I'm seeing how wallets are being talked about. But the thing is, the we also have to focus on the DAP paradigm is why we're here for the use cases. If people are, uh, pardon my French, are going to shit on wallets not being good enough, there also has to be better use cases within the DAP paradigm, particularly on a mobile-friendly environment. Um, so that's kind of what I've particularly seen a lot around ETHCC more recently is, sure, there are problems on wallet. We're fixing with onboarding AA and all these cool other bolt-on features. But we also have to start now focusing on the DAP paradigm. It's kind of a chicken and egg problem. So here at Wallet Connect, uh, we really started on mobile first. We figured out a way of how do you connect uh, your browser to your wallet back three, four years ago. And now we just really want to extend it to like, how can we make this even further? How can we make this connect wallet button as seamless as possible? How do we make actual better use cases out there? So that's currently our take and as to why we're really focused on mobile um, as long, so alongside like multi-chain and a lot of these other things. So. That's currently our stance that we really want to help innovate and provide better dev tooling for both sides of this spectrum, right? On this wallet and DAP paradigm. Cool. Um, so just before I get into like the demo and the, the development of things, so you might've seen this as Web3 modal. And what we do is we're really experimenting a lot more. Um, so this could be considered the full version. We're going to be releasing social login, emailing, and pretty much you can uh, access all of your wallets um, and wag me as a as a library ethers and with making it as composable as possible and for the sake of uh, builders and hackathons it's much easier to use our light version it's kind of just think about the skinnier version that allows you to bring your own library allows you to bring your own tooling and have it go there so that's just some distinction just to give you more clarity if you do read our documentation cool all right so i this is kind of taken from a previous thing in that I think we really need to, this kind of actually is the wallet and DAP paradigm, actually. Onboarding is DAP wallets. Let's just think about the left-hand side is more about wallets and the right-hand side is DAPs, right? So we really need to start thinking about like, cool, account abstraction, AP, MPC, uh, web author, and all these cool things that are coming out there are great. We're getting there. We're getting to a better place, but like that stuff needs to be fixed for sure. But then we have to start thinking about the DAP features and that's where we're trying to bring more tooling into the DAP side of like, how do you financially read and write through staking and all of these like really cool ideas that you guys are going to hack on this weekend? 
how do we innovate more on NFTs or onboarding in, in that same paradigm? So maybe token bound accounts, um, namespaces, identity, you know, there's ZK identity uh, with like Sysmo, and then there's like ENS, Lens, Dids, Disco, all these cool things. Uh, transaction simulation, those are copy paste. Um, but multi-chain, I think that's also something we've really missed. I failed to see many good multi-chain applications either on the wallet or DAP side. And I think it's because we're still figuring it out. And right now with the whole L2 summer or whatever we want to call it, L100s, however many L's layers we're going to go down, like we really need to focus on this. Um, so this is why we're really trying to encourage the, these DAP features. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, this is on the right-hand side is a GitHub, uh, GitHub repo of uh, an example we have uh, that I built out so this is the most relevant thing for the hackathon if you end up wanting to build a React Native um, uh, Wallet Connect modal. Um, so just as an FYI, I'm not leaving out any native folks out there. There is Kotlin, uh, there is Kotlin actually. There is uh, Aya Swift, and then there is uh, Flutter. So I'm not trying to leave anyone out there, uh, but this is just for the most easiest boilerplate thing. Um, and just as a general thing of like development out there, Wallet Connect, we, we across several SDKs, we do Unity even, um, and yeah, like, uh, this is just for React Native. React Native seems to be very popular within the DAP framework and wallet framework. So that's just also a heads up if you're willing to bootstrap in that network. So that's just the GitHub repo. Hopefully that worked. Um, so this is our one liner. Um, of course it's like, uh, pretty, pretty bland, pretty quick. There are some polyfills that you need to do. Um, and this works for React Native CLI, um, but also, uh, for Expo. We're actually thinking a lot more and optimizing on Expo for any React Native developers out there. Um, as as a mobile developer three years ago, Expo wasn't there. But now we're really in a place where I can just spin up um, an application for React Native and mobile, get it done very quickly. So really bullish on Expo and how we've done that. So I might quickly show you a demo um, before I get through all of this code snippet. Um, so I am not going to risk doing a live demo because the Wi-Fi, um, and even though I love Expo development, um, I think it's just going to take a bit of a, a bit of time to, um, compile. Um, so yeah, so left-hand side, some code that I'll go through in a bit. Um, so the right-hand side is let's just kind of assume this is the simulator. So if I go back here, it's just some tutorial it says it, the state of it is not connected. Um, and then we want to go through the connect button. So it's just a pressable function, very simple. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can see it. Yeah, let me zoom in on the code for a bit later. Um, so yeah, pretty much just clicking the connect button. Um, this brings up a UI. You can bring your bring along your favorite wallets that you use these days, probably Metamask, Trust, or whatever else that you use. Pretty much click into it. Um, and then I pick Trust Wallet, enter your code, whatever. Has your address, 0x6 something, redirection, and voila. So I think if we can get to a state where we're easily figuring out how to do wallet development in a very seamless manner, I think that's the goal. Um, and not there are probably more JS web developers than JS uh, mobile developers or even native um, mobile developers. And, and that's the sure truth. Um, but I think what I want to pause and think about is that if in three years, we're still using Metamask extension as the first onboarding for your grandma or your like child or your friend, like we've kind of messed up. So I think we want to get to a place where we're trying to push more and kind of ask for like better ways to do handling of mobile and just ranting on and thinking about it. There's like better ways that we can even handle keys and do like opclaves and web auth and through like face ID and native account abstraction, all these things. So like there are really cool things in the mobile space that are happening. And I really wish that we move towards there because once again, in three, five years, if the majority of us are still onboarding through MetaMask, like window.ethereum, we kind of messed up. So that's my personal take. Um, so yeah, that was the connection, I believe, kind of restarted, just take you through the whole flow again. Great, and then you connected. So that's your zero X address, and then I can press a disconnect button. Um, and then from then on, so this is the boilerplate, um, for those who are in these platforms, you can use something like ethers or, or, uh, VM or Wagme, And there are other native libraries for Swift and Kotlin, um, that you can use to help you think about the use cases. So it kind of comes back to this, 
how do we field build better use cases out there so that we can work with this whole wallet and DAP paradigm of things. Cool. So that's that. Um, still keeping it quite short. Um, so going back here. So this is just essentially the wrapper of the schema that I wanted to share. Um, essentially, you'd be just importing a Wallet Connect modal just as a UI con component. Project ID, so that's through clouds so that gives you better tracking and measurement and just understanding about your project. Um, and then there's DAP side, um, exporting of the function, going through it, opening up the modal, um, and just injecting some data. So what's the name of your DAP, description, URL, and redirect. So this is something I want to point out for mobile developers out there or anyone. If you don't redirect your app, people are going to get pissed off. So please do that. Like, um, you, you need to actually really figure out, like, you know, just doing these schemas is really essential. A lot of even the top wallet out there, um, does not do this very well. So please handle these kind of things. Um, so like you saw when trust quickly redirected back, that's very important. So it's something you should take into consideration. Cool. Uh, this is further extending the code of it. Um, and the most important line is, um, const open and use wallet connect modal hook. Um, so we just made it really simple and we give you the power, um, to think more around the provider and stuff like that. So opening function, um, disconnect function is done through the provider is connected as a Boolean address. So pretty bare bones stuff that we've given you, um, and really don't want to complicate, uh, mobile development for anyone. Um, so the, the function of handling that's pretty self-explanatory. And then we just use the hook, um, to, to open. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to do one quick like run through all of it just in the VS code format. So you kind of understand where everything is happening. Um, so yeah, so very typical. If you understand JS, um, it should be pretty self-explanatory if you haven't done React Native. Project ID, um, go get it yourself. Providing the metadata of what you do, that's fine. Here I, I imported the use wallet connect modal um, just through the top hierarchy. Um, here I can, I don't know if the, oops, I don't know if the internet is great, but these are the other parameters you have. I think I've exposed more, most of them. So this is what we have. Great. Um, and then all you have to do is wrap it really with this, and then you can handle the rest of your app. So if you want to navigate and do that, do this as the top hierarchy, then some very, very simple styling. So yeah, um, that's the code there. Uh, I wanted to wrap things up and... Cool. Uh, yeah. So once again, just finishing it up, um, really encourage you to kind of think about when people are talking a lot around wallets, dApps, and all of that, there's really this negative camp that I'm really feeling as a sentiment. Wow. Wallets aren't innovating. So let's really try, um, figure out how can we encourage better dApp development as well on mobile so that people can feel more reassured. Okay. These wallets are having actual good use cases. So it's a chicken and egg problem, but I really encourage you guys to to give mobile a crack um, if you have the opportunity. Um, but if not, um, for the rest of the hackathon, um, feel free to innovate on different different sectors. Feel free to think about authentication. Or if you're a designer, think about the cloud. So I wanted to wrap it up. And uh, for us at Wallet Connect, we really think the future is built on mobile. So thank you. And these are some documentations. Um, cool. A uh, question? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, if you want to do uh, a ZK Snarks of token bound accounts built on uh, React Native, go for it. Yeah, yeah. That qualify for like both prizes? Yes, that would qualify for both prizes. Yeah, so if it's innovative enough and you build, say, a React Native app, um, but it also exposes token bound accounts and this and that, uh, you could technically enter in the two tracks. Oh, okay. Yes. Thanks. Thank you.